A little bit of a tricky day today on site due to the weather. One of the realities is of construction is you got to deal with um, the conditions. We live 20 miles south. It was dry all day. But up here, we had um, you know some rain and thunderstorms throughout the day. So we got um, most of the deck on the first floor. But I want to show you a few things and uh, help you see some of the some of the thought process. Um, you know, for your own information and some things for you to consider and and look at as uh, you're working through these things yourself. This right here is the edge of our um, beam. Now this beam spans the whole distance. So there's 44 feet across. There's five metal posts um, holding it up, support posts there. And you notice that this looks different than uh, traditional lumber. This is laminated. So it's like uh, plywood, but then all these layers are glued together and those layers uh, give the structural integrity to this beam because we are spanning a 22 foot distance here with these floor trusses that we have so this is called an open web floor truss and uh, that allows us a couple of things and let me take you inside to show you what that allows us to do so i am under the, the deck here on the first floor and as I've mentioned before in these videos, one of our uh, big ambitions is making this ground floor level not feel like a basement. And one of the ways that we um, wanted to make sure is that we were able to run our mechanical through the ceiling and we didn't have to have any of those bulkheads that are coming down. So uh, in order to do that, we're using a open web floor truss system. These are 20 inch um, floor trusses and what you can see is that we can run the mechanical lines the ductwork can be run through these and it allows us to run this whole span here without having any uh, support bracing underneath it so how do we do that how do we distribute the load well that LDL or LVL beam that I just showed you here spans this whole distance of 44 feet across here um, on this with those metal posts that are holding it up there. So that beam comes all the way across. That allows these floor trusses to go um, that 22 foot span here. And then in addition to that, you'll notice that the headers in a previous video I had, um, I was wondering if they were gonna be two by 12s. Well, they're actually not two by 12s. These headers up here are also that LVL material lighting's not that great on there but you can see that we got a couple of those put together here because you know when weight is is being applied up um, you know on upper levels all of that weight is being distributed to that wall and to this beam here inside of it so um, it's an extra cost obviously to put that in it's um, uh, less expensive to put in, you know, your normal uh, two by 12s and you have your beams, but we would have those drop beams down here in the basement and we didn't want to do that. So sometimes you have to decide where you're going to um, allocate your funds in a project and what is your priorities. And so that was one of our priorities here for us on this level was to keep that ceiling height what it is and to keep things open.